early morning hike to the summit of Wedge. It'll take a good 45, nearly an hour, but it's just beautiful. There she is. So excited about this. Another massive highlight of this trip. You can really see how why they built this radar station on Wedge. And there's no getting into Spencer Gulf without seeing Wedge. And I'm just loving that way out there I can see Thistle and Port Lincoln, even the hills behind Tumby Bay, Spilsby Island way out the back. And then you've got North Neptune, South Neptune, and all the way around here on the horizon you can even see Kangaroo Island. Cape Spencer, Pondy's just in there, and then the rest of York's finishes up around here where the sun is. It's just, I don't know, really awesome for me to be able to see both sides of the Gulf. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's really special. He's been camping in there and he's going to drive 300 kilometres up to the top of the Gulf. Another 400 down to there. Just pick me up. Very thankful for it. I'm only doing 100 k's across. But uh, he's effectively driving to Melbourne to pick me up. No, well. Thanks, Mal. See you soon. the last day. Really enjoyed my morning here on Wedge, taking it a bit slower. I could stay a night, um, but the weather's just better today than it is tomorrow and you never know how it can develop so with these sort of crossings you've got to take those chances while they're there for you. So about 35 k's today over to York Peninsula. And I'll tick off that Spencer Golf crossing. But yeah, very magical place here and yeah, I hope I can come back someday. It's so dumpy. Big ledge, here we go. Let's get back there. <laughs> oh shit. Alright, we've got to make this one. Oh no, that's too big. Oh.
been a real pleasure, Wedge. A bit short for my liking, but oh my god. I've just seen like I'm hoping a dolphin, but a very, very big marine creature launch itself entirely out of the water. Like, cleared the water, fit and all. Whew. If it is a shark, let's hope he just got his fill. Just went again, and it's kind of exactly where I'm, I'm going. I wonder if it's worth that. Oh, I've never, that's unbelievable. It's like whale like or walker like. It was just massive. I'll never get it on film though. Sorry. Can't see Yorks down here this low. But we know it's out there. We've seen it from the top. Hopefully it's not too long until I can see it. It's just it's just nice when you can see the other side. It's a fantastic island. Apparently a bit more like three metre swells. You'll never show up on the camera but it's so fat. Really quiet. More awkward to paddle actually. The wind going the opposite way to the swell. And I can't see land. It's so hard to go on a straight line. I don't realise it can keep turning down the wind. These guys are everywhere. Dolphins. Forty-three minutes. And the island's still ginormous, as you'd expect. I'll check in soon to see how my uh, angle's going. There's a very gentle tide going that way, but the wind gently going that way. So maybe they'll just balance out, and I won't have to ferry glide too much. There we go. <laughs> what? That is too cool. I genuinely like almost shaking from how incredible that was. Wow. I don't know if I can top that experience. Yeah. Definitely slow down my progress, but so worth it. Six Ks in an hour. Uh, it was a slow start, but a fair distraction, I'd say. Turn it up now. Get going and really hope I can be there by three o'clock. It's just been good, but I found just been getting a bit fatigued mentally just from making decisions all the time about how to stay alive. 
when's it safe to go, when's it not. Yeah, I guess that's fair enough when I stop and think where you are, yeah. Yeah, you by yourself. But yeah, it's, it is actually fatiguing. Um, and it is nice to paddle in places where, you know, you don't have to make decisions every day just to make sure you don't die. And that's why I do love paddling on the river, where you, just about whatever the weather, it doesn't matter, you can just paddle and not be too concerned. The biggest threat out there is a red gum falling on your head. So, I think this will be, it's been a trip that's been hard to appreciate in the moment, but certainly once I got home and I look at this footage and reflect on it, I'm gonna be very happy with it. I'm gonna remember it as an awesome trip. But your mind just becomes quite occupied with staying alive, you know, getting across this ocean. There's a couple of big crossings, you know. And look around, it's like, yeah. Just always suppressing fears, both rational and irrational. It's quite tiring, so yeah, I think it is important to come out and do these things. Absolutely. If there is a wind, it's more easily. So it's just a little bit of a headwind, maybe five knots. It's a bit of a bummer. Looks like we're doing this one manually. But when I'm on top of a wave now, I've finally worked out what parts of Yorks I'm looking at. Royston Head. Cape Spencer and all talk. And it's taken quite a while to actually figure it out when you can only see it from about two seconds on top of a wave, then it disappears and to relocate it all again. Even now, like, oh, just turned 20 degrees off course. I don't even realize. So, definitely not going in a particularly straight line today. Lovely swells. Yeah, it's a bit of a headwind and big distance, so to say. I'm not going to have much left in the tank if I of this. I'll definitely make it. But... It's just awesome. Right. Uh, it's a little disheartening after three hours to have only done 16 k's. Which means I'm only just sort of getting to halfway now. But, oh well. You do, just keep going. Wait for it. Uh, there, oh. Maybe up top of this. Oh, you can just get glimpses of Royston Head there. Getting there. She's been working really hard and still struggling to get a real good speed. So two hours left, hopefully, no longer. That's hour number two. A can of coke for the last hour. The sugar so I can whoo, and crash as I get there, not before. Oh my god. Bloody tuna. I feel I'm feeling it way more than I feel like I should be. I don't know. Maybe it's because there was a big day yesterday. Maybe there's something happening in the water here, but I don't know about it. Definitely saw the tide. We'll get there. It's just the now. The now's a lot to do about it. Let's just keep going. The now. There you go. Even though it's a tiny little tide, I just went over a tidal race. So. There's all sorts making this day hard. Six days till I'm in the bay. Can't believe that's another hour. It's right there. Keep checking my map. See if we are actually moving. It doesn't feel like it. I'm 
Yeah, I'm struggling the most uh, I think I ever have actually. Yeah. Six Ks, five Ks off. So close. I'm just, yeah, starting to feel a bit dizzy from the fatigue. Just got some more food, more electrolytes, all that stuff. I can just go to sleep. No, just can't. Entering the gates, hopefully, no more than half an hour now. Just quite the entrance. Woo! Starting to celebrate now. Heck. Hey, it wasn't scary hard, it was just hard. 35 or 36 today, and 113 all up. There's Mao. <laughs> I'm knackered. Looking forward to this. Oh. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> well, hang on. Better detach myself from the boat. Oh! Sorry. <laughs> oh, the boat. Whatever. It's here now. 